This is Dave here with a demo of the rotor in iOS VoiceOver. So the rotor is a tool within the VoiceOver screen reader that allows you to quickly access settings or buttons or to navigate text and that kind of thing as well. So the way we access it is to place two fingers on the screen and then rotate either clockwise or anti-clockwise, almost as if you're rotating a knob on the screen. Words, headings, speech rate, volume, language. Characters. And this will take me through various options that I can uh, can use with the rotor. So if I wanted to change the speech rate, for example, I would go to speech rate in the rotor. Words, headings, speech rate. And then with one finger, then I would swipe down to bring the value down or swipe up to bring it up. 55, 50%, 55%, 60% volume, language. If I wanted to change the language, uh, I have various languages selected, then I can swipe up or down to cycle through those. Irish English, South African English, default language, U, S, Australian English. I prefer Australian myself. Characters. Um, it can also be used for navigating text, so this is best demonstrated in uh, the Safari web browser. Safari. Safari. So we'll Apple go to a resource that strives to empower applevis.com, great resource for uh, blind and vision impaired users of Apple devices. Apple is a rich resource that strives to empower the community by offering words. So if we wanted to go through that particular piece by character first. Characters. We go to characters and then swipe down with one finger. Capital A. P. P. L. E. Capital I. S. Or we can navigate Zero. by word. Words. Is. A. Rich. Lines. Or by lines. Apple is a rich offering multi information. As a community, can, we seek to encourage and... You can also navigate by heading or by li links or form controls and... Headings. All the things you might be used headings. to from your desktop. Campaign of the month. The most recent. Please read before. Speech rate. Volume. Links. Code name signals. 53 links. So uh, that will also apply if you're editing text as well. You can use the rotor to go by character, word, line, etc. So changing values and settings and also for navigating. It's a really useful tool. Home. One other uh, minor thing you can do with it that Bye they added this. in um, iOS 6, I believe, is for quickly deleting things like messages and emails. Mail. So if I open email, and I just open my iCloud email, mail. which I don't really Inbox. use. iCloud. Information about your iCloud mail account. 08 slash 11 slash 2012. Now if I wanted to delete this email, rather than having to go into the email and hit the delete button or use the edit button, if I put focus on that email. iCloud. Information about your iCloud mail account. 08 slash 11 slash 2012. Delete. And I just swipe down and it will say delete. And then I would double tap if I wanted to delete that. If I want to open it, go back to uh, the option of opening it. Default. I would just swipe down again and it will cycle back to default, which is the default uh, selection is to open it. So that's called the actions menu in the rotor. And in messages and email, it will actually go to the actions menu automatically. Um, but you can still access things like characters and words by using the rotor. Characters. Words. So it's a really good way, especially if you've a lot of emails you want to delete or you just want to get rid of things quite quickly um, without having to go into the emails and hit the delete button and confirm and everything like that. Uh, this is a really useful tool. Uh, that Mail. was only added in iOS 6 so uh, last year, so it's really useful. Settings. Uh, we can change what options are in our rotor as well. You might want, not want everything settings. there, so um, we go to settings. Do not disturb. Notification. General. 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 VPN. Not connected. Rose, ro profile. Accessibility. 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 General. Voiceover. On. Bo Into voiceover. Voiceover. Voiceover prep. Rose 4 to 13 of 13. And towards the bottom, there is an option for the rotor. Braille. Button. Rotor. Button. There it is. Rotor. Voiceover. Selected. Words. Selected. Lines. Selected. Headings. Selected. Speech rate. Selected. Volume. Ro landmarks. Non-visited links. Buttons. So as you can see, VoiceOver announces whether something is selected or not selected. So if uh, you want to activate one that's not selected, you simply double tap and it will add it to your rotor. Or if one is already selected and you want to remove it, you double tap and that will remove it from your rotor. Rose 1 to 10 of 24. On the right hand side of the screen, there's also handles for changing the order of them. Rose 1 to 10 of 24. Reorder characters. Button. So just Dragon. over to the right hand side, you go to reorder characters. You double tap and hold, and then you drag it down Move below or, words. or up, Move above words. and it will tell you its new position. So you can have the um, 
various voiceover options in the order that you want. Voiceover. Back button. And that's pretty much Settings. how the rotor works. It's a really useful tool, very important part of uh, the voiceover screen reader. And I think, uh, especially for web browsing, um, it makes life much, much easier. And uh, I'm a big fan of the router anyway and use it a lot. So if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave a comment below. Thanks a million. All the best.